a viral video showing a bowling robot literally throwing a strike at lightning speed is burning up social media this week. The video has nearly 20 million views, but the question is now, is it real? Well, our consumer technology reporter looks closely at that video and introduces us to another robot, an athlete that plays another game. It's an amazing video, a robotic arm hurling a bowling ball down the lane like it's made of rubber, literally throwing a perfect strike. But it's fake. But millions of people thought this was real. And why not? Robotics teams from around the world are programming robots to do some well, pretty amazing things. It isn't a bowling robot, but a table tennis playing robot that caught my eye earlier this year at CES. It uses artificial intelligence and machine learning to beat even the best ping pong players in the world. It starts learning right when you walk up to the, the table. It starts uh, measuring you and watching your movements. And then as you pick up the paddle, it's starting to see how you move the paddle. So that by the time you hit your first ball back to Forpheus, it knows where the ball is going to land already. Forpheus is actually a table tennis instructor, giving students instant feedback on every swing and their fundamentals, just as a human instructor would do, maybe better. And that's the thing about robots and where we're headed. They can be programmed to do many things better than humans. We wanted to show people that uh, the automation technology and robotic technology of, the day, of today can be used in a fun and productive way to work in harmony with people. Pretty soon we won't be surprised by anything robots can do. Right now there is a robotic team trying to field a soccer team made up of entirely humanoid robots. Their goal is to beat the World Cup champs by the year 2050. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker. Well, other sports that robots are involved in are for basketball. They're trying to develop it anyway. Also, a sumo wrestling robot that's being developed right now in Japan. I would not want to take that on.